I, I, I just realized you have Suomi, like yeah. Finland, <laughs> yeah. Finnish uh, hoodie on. Shout out. <laughs> Where yeah. did you get that? <laughs> From my mom, actually. She went like, when, I, when I, I was in Brazil and she came to Finland and she went the first time to a national like ice hockey game. Okay. Yeah, so she got this for me. Mm. Yeah. Yo, it's with a mix and calm vision. We are on a mission to get rid of the division. So turn off your television and tune in to Khan Vision. I know, I know, the rap was horrible. But hey, I had to try rap because on this podcast I'm having rap duo from With A Mix to share some of their experiences. So if you're interested, tune in. But before that, ladies and gentlemen, please give it up for my guests Omar and Rafael. Stay tuned. Hey, Omar, Rafael, welcome to Khan Vision. We've been talking a lot about this podcast to happen yeah. overall but finally we're here yeah. um yeah thanks to first of all thanks to you guys for coming here but thanks to my man daniel he will be soon in my place replacing me into a newer version <laughs> more younger i guess uh <clears throat> but anyway <laughs> younger and healthier i don't know about that but hey um tell us a little bit about you you know you guys are here to talk about your passion project or things that you like to do hell yeah and you are very you are one of those very few people who get to do the thing that they love to do as a living yeah. which is being artist and overall anyone who finds their thing to you know who can do for a living what they love to do i think they're um lucky people yeah yeah that's amazing <laughs> So how did you get into music business overall? Or what kind of music you do? We actually do all kind of music. Yeah. But I, I think as, as our background, like we've been having music like for our whole life. Mm. We've been listening to music sure. yeah. from the street, in the beach in your case, right? In yeah, you are Brazil, walking yeah. There. Like in Brazilians listen a lot of music, so that's probably it's already part of the music. culture. Yeah, yeah. How old were you guys when you guys came to Finland? Uh, 15 maybe. 15? Okay. Yeah, I was Around. 16. Yeah, yeah, 15, yeah, 15. Yeah. Yeah. So, um, how did you find the Finnish music <laughs> in Finland? Like, um, in the beginning, I kind of like it, the hip hop, like the rap music, because mm. it was also good for me to f- learn Finnish language. And mm. like, was like, kind of, okay, that's dope. Mm. I kind of like it. I don't know nowadays it's kind of different but it's cool. I I, I just realized you have Suomi like yeah. Finland yeah. <laughs> Finnish uh, hoodie on. Shout out. <laughs> Where yeah. did you get that? <laughs> From my mom actually. She went like when I, when I was in Brazil and she came to Finland and she went the first time to a national like ice hockey game. Okay. Yeah, so she got this for me. Mm. Yeah. Cool. But like son, we are going to the Finland, so you you yeah, need to I integrate. Had before I got to Finland. Used to it. Yeah, so you gotta get used to these uh, yeah. letters. <laughs> I had this before I came to Finland, though. So it's, oh, it's okay. Cool. Wait yeah. for real? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. okay. Uh, some some secrets. I'm revealing some secrets. That, so. <laughs> so what about you? Uh, Finnish music overall. You guys you guys came here, and Latin music is very popular yeah. spanish or portuguese music yeah. especially in the latin america or in spanish countries also in other countries yeah. but in finland it's it's not that popular would you say not yet but it's i getting think there. It, uh, uh, it's uh, getting there right? i have a different like i think it's pretty popular in finland because mm. like this is j balvin was here in finland in yeah and the, the gig and it was crazy and it was but i think this is like recently Yeah, no, I'm talking yeah. about nowadays. Mm-hmm. Yeah, nowadays, like when I came to Finland, was kind of really rare to find like Latin music. Mm. I mean, of course, the one who know, you know, you can maybe find somebody that know, and yeah, suddenly yeah. just put to you, play to you some mm. that Yankee song or some old school, you know, like mm. reggaeton yeah. artist. But but like he say, you no, know, it's getting there. You know, slowly by slowly, it's getting bigger now. Even oh. now, we have a friend, you know, Migu. Shout out to Migu too, you know, mm. El Migu. That uh, he's starting now to make like reggaeton, but in Finnish. Yeah. So this actually, it's actually the it. first artist mm. in like Finland history, I think, to start to make that. I wanted to ask, how did you guys meet up 
Or, uh, mm. Like straight when you c came to Finland or? No, it was kind of, it was funny. Like I was with my friends, like Brazilian friends, in, like playing football in Kampi. Mm. And Omar just like walked by and he was like, oh, playing football, like Far Rangers mm. <laughs> playing football outside. So he just came and, yo, can, can I play? We're here. Oh, you, you started to speak in Spanish because you no, heard no, that they he, were... He, English, I think English. it was English because he didn't know from where we, we came from. Okay, okay. So then, like, we started yeah, to know yeah. each other. Yeah, we're now. Now. Uh, were you there. shocked that he knew Spanish? Because, or were you like, no, oh, was, damn. I, in, the, in the time, I didn't really, like, uh, like knew Spanish that much because my language is Portuguese, but it's pretty yeah. close. I didn't really, like, understand everything what he was saying, but, like, now, now... With time, we we know. Yeah, it we, we got to like understand each other, and now he speak Portuguese now. Ah, he speaks Spanish. Speak Spanish. So it's like so. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, what do you call collaboration? Yeah, or yeah, yeah, like, yeah. No, it's really cool. So you yes. rap mostly. So you guys do rap, right? So yeah. when did you decide you became friend? When did you decide that like, okay, let's make some like rap? In the beginning it was Omar was making music. Like I didn't know. Like I always like my background when I was a kid, my my cousins was listening to hip hop, mm. as your nice and like some Brazilian big rap groups, mm. and I was all the time interested, but I didn't really know. I didn't ha get a chance to record or anything, mm. and it came with Omar. Omar like showed me studios and. <clears throat> Omar, uh, what about you? When were you into introduced to hip hop music or the music scheme overall? Well, that actually comes from a long time, like around, I wouldn't, I wouldn't even know how to, when, because I don't know exactly how old I was, but I was kind of young, you know. Mm. I have at my house, in my sister's room, like one old ass computer, you know. Mm. And uh, you guys remember this kind of mics that is like uh, white ones yeah. that we used to talk in Skype, you know. Yeah. I used to record with that shit, bro, imagine. And... I just start like I didn't even know how to use the program or anything, so I just put the beat from YouTube at the same time that I was like recording with the mic. So actually, that's how I started. Wow, it wasn't that good, but I was getting better with the time. Yeah, yeah, but it's same like with my podcast. I started with you know with one mic. I didn't know what I'm doing, but you know, so as long as you keep doing that, you know, it gets better. Yeah, no, so did you start doing beats or no? No, actually. I don't know how to do beats at all. Yeah, you Jet. focused on, you know, Jet. just rhyming with the beats. <laughs> rhyming and, yeah, maybe some mix, vocal mix. We can mm. do, you know, we know how to do kind of, you know, that, that type of shit, you know. Mm. But, like, uh, yeah, I started when I was, like, young and then I just stopped doing it. But then when I met Rafa, you know, we started also, like, just, you know, playing around with the beats and with the voices. But then one day, like, we just chose... To make it for for real for real like let's make this thing serious why not we have the opportunity you know we are in a good country that we have the chances that they give us now to get a studio and we don't have that mm. in our country you know it's very like hard to me, get studio time in, yeah, yeah for yeah, me in spain so or even in brazil you know it's like really really hard even to find some studio you know mm. yeah. so we were thinking now that we have the chance why not and also, i remember you know, i remember the day when i came uh, like the first time I, I, I went inside of the studio i was in shock i was like what the <laughs> fuck that was is crazy is this studio, bro. like candy like yeah, going to the candy I, store and i felt like seeing all the cameras on a booth you know when you went to record and i was like what why I'm feeling like that like you know like this energy. Butter, butterflies yeah, in your yeah it was crazy it's, but it's, it's, I like that feeling I think it's good because you get like you know motivated yeah exactly mm. like you wanna you wanna go through it you know through that when how long it was when you made your first official track or first track when you decided when that we are gonna make music 2012 11 maybe 2011 yeah I think we make a uh, Eleven. Actually, I make uh, I made my fir first song like I was just alone in the studio. Mm. Then one day he came to my house with um, another friend Igor. You know, mm. they came with the car, and suddenly I just said like, "Yo, Rafa, listen to this. I just yeah, made it today to the studio." Yeah. They put it on the car and they they really like it so much. I was thinking, Yo, "Why do you just don't come with me?" You know, mm. let's make something just so. From there we just get the idea like, with the the yeah, group that, Rafa C true. and Omar Moreno. But then after two years, we decided to change it to something more serious. Like, like, you. like actually, mix, we, we were like making a collaboration, like Omar featuring Rafa Z. Mm. Yeah. And we made like eight songs mm. around seven, 
I don't remember, but we, we made a lot of songs, like yeah. yeah. And then we, we like, like we started to like realize that yo, Latin America is so big, and you speak Spanish. The market is so big. Yeah, and I do it in Portuguese, and it's it's not that that different. And a lot of Brazilians like they listen to Spanish and understand. Yeah, they can like relate. They can understand it. And was like, yo, this is a idea. It's a good idea. Mm. And like the name came like in a freestyle. Like we we were in his house, like listening to beats and shit. Mm. And like we did a freestyle. I don't know which one was me and Omar. And we just came with la mezcla. You know, la mezcla means with mix in Spanish. Mm. And we were like, yo, True that, man. it's us. You know, True like that. like Brazil, mm. Brazilian, Spanish, Portuguese, Spain, like. We are the mix, you know. We We're mix. mixing, mixing cultures. Yeah, we with mix, man. Yeah, <laughs> you couldn't explain it better, man. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. yeah. So yeah that's, that's how with mix kind of start. How would you describe your? How yeah. would you describe your genre? Yeah. What kind of a rap are you making? Is it more like trap? I more? think every time, bro. Just think, it's the name you, with the mix. Yeah, it's with like, mix. like everything. <laughs> like, we, you mix things up. Yeah, yeah. Mm. like you can put you can put a beat for us, whatever mm. it is. I mean, I don't mean like maybe like something like dra drastic, like heavy metal or mm. something completely different. Genre or maybe you that. can do it like Jay Z did with uh, Linkin Park, like a rock. Yeah, <laughs> we can. Yeah, we always joking. open to try. That's yeah. the. That's. I think that's the our, our secret yeah. sauce. Yeah, <laughs> exactly. Like you don't. Uh, we like, don't shy out. We just. You don't shy out, and you know, don't close the opportunities. You're no, ready for any kind no, of opportunities. We both love music, and like. Like making music makes makes me happy and yeah, Omar too. Sure. So I think it's like you just have to make everything and you you end up you will see, it, mm. you know. How about in the future? What what do you see yourself doing in five years, for example, Omar? Let's start with Omar and then yeah. we'll go to Rafa. Well, uh, before I forget, before yeah. you ask the other question, I just wanted to tell one thing also, you know. Okay. Like uh, when we start also, you know, now that you also have this mm. ask this question, where we wanna be. No, when we start to take the music serious, you know, like after two years that we started to, with this group, you know, like we were at my house and we were looking like, you know, artists from Brazil and from other countries, you know, yeah. and we were thinking like, yo, you know, like, we really want to be there, you know, in the next, like, future years, you know, like, nothing is impossible, we just need to, like, find a way somehow and just, you know, get there, you know. Mm. And, you know, it's crazy that one of the artists, for example, that we were watching, you know, like four years ago in my house, when we, we were starting to look the Brazilian, um, the rappers that they were popping in that time in Brazil. Mm. I didn't know, like three years after, we're going to meet that guy, you know? No. And that's the crazy thing that I also wanted to talk about, about the laws, a law of attraction, you know, like if you really believe in something, really, really believe it. You can get it, man. And yeah. put the work in. Yeah, of course. Mm -hmm. Of course, it's not gonna just sit in the house. It's gonna come. Okay, yeah. now mm -hmm. I want it to come. Yeah. You really gonna put yeah. it in work? Because if you really believe, then you'll work True. like you believe, right? Yeah. True that, man. What about in five years? What's gonna happen? What do you th see things to happen? Well, like, what do you was, wish things yeah. to be? Billboard. Mm -hmm. Billboard. Sure. Sure. Billboards straight out sure. Grammys. I don't think we have we billboards. Have no we have billboards now in YouTube, and, and you know, like the no, billboard no. system has changed. Yeah. Oh, you mean the actual like yeah, being the in the music, top? The music, top yeah, music okay. Like because this Latin, you know, Latin scene is so big that we can't, yeah. we can't get there easily. Yeah, actually. yeah. We can see so, the chance. Maybe in like, five years we'll see you with J Balvin making some good. For sure, for sure. Yeah, man. that would be a milestone, right? For sure. You know, hitting for sure. a world star. Yeah, for sure. Uh, <laughs> artists like him. And Jay Balvin, if you're listening, you're welcome to hear. You know, you can sit, you Let's can take up. a better seat. That's Let's for you. <laughs> you know, I'll sit in the floor. Don't worry. <laughs> anyway, is there anything else you want to say in the, you know, where, like, obviously I'm going to put your social media and everything down in the description below, but anything you want to share before? Like, um, I think like, just like Omar said, like nothing is impossible mm. because like, um, many, many times we, we were like, oh, are we really good enough? And like suddenly just like some people that we used to like listen when we were kids, like watching our video or everything. So that's give me really motivation and proves me that it's not impossible because we are fucking far away from like Brazil and Spain. We are far, we are in Finland. And like, like we were talking about, imagine like being in Finland, you and me, and we already reached yeah. that biggest persons working there. 
Like mm. we know some big as people now in Brazil, you know. Yeah. And I'm just thinking. Well like, connected. Imagine, yeah, yeah. If we were there, mm. that's would be a completely different thing, you know. Yeah. Mm. Like completely different story, you know. But anyway, like I said, getting there and what would you say also is true? Yeah. Like if that's you really crazy. put it in your work, man. Law of attraction is fucking attraction, true, man. man. And keep finding whatever is your yeah. thing. For you guys, it's the music. For me, it's the podcast and vlogging. Who knows? And maybe you will do something different. Yeah, but anyway, hey, thank you, thank you for coming you in a sh- short notice. Thank you for inviting us. Okay, man. we'll see yeah. you in the gigs. Thank you, Omar. Thank you, Rafael. You know, with the mix, it's a really cool band, and you guys should check them out. Follow them on social media. I have the links below. And really looking forward what happens in the future. Maybe Jay Baldwin will join to my podcast. Hey, you never know and you have to dream big, I guess. Uh, other than that, thank you for listening or watching this podcast. And if you want to see more, then su- subscribe to my channel and tune in, basically. Thank you. Stay blessed.